there, I'm Siona San Martino, a Bastyr University graduate and a nutrition and culinary educator. If you're in a rut with your veggie routine or simply looking for a tasty whole foods recipe, then join me today as I show you how to make dip for asparagus and broccoli. This recipe starts by taking two medium heads of broccoli and a half a bunch of asparagus and blanching it. This is a really fast way to lock in both the flavor and the nutrients of your veggies and is way more exciting than just raw veggies and dip. Not so much into that. For our dip today, we're going to make a tangy almond dip. And most dips are loaded with unhealthy, inflammatory fats, but not this one. Putting lots of healthy goodies in it. So you're going to use a food processor and we're going to add one cup of toasted almonds. You could also use a high quality blender, that would work as well. And then you're just going to blend them up for about a minute or two until they become a nice fine powder. Here we go. Alright, we're going to add three to four tablespoons of coconut milk. This is going to add a creamy luxuriousness to our dip. Then we're going to add two and a half teaspoons of freshly grated ginger for a nice zestiness. We're also going to add two to three medium cloves of garlic that I've minced. This adds a lovely pungency. For sweetness, we're going to add two tablespoons of maple syrup. Going right in. And for an extra zing and bright quality, we're going to add three to four tablespoons of brown rice vinegar. I love how easy this recipe is. All you got to do is whir it up. And you want to do this until it's nice and creamy and there's no more clumps detectable. Here we go. Alright, it looks like our dip is nice and creamy and smooth, so now I'm going to taste it and see if it needs any additional sea salt. So let's give it a taste here. So good, lots of bright flavors, zing, it's satisfying, rich and delicious. If your flavors aren't popping or you feel like you need to bring your flavors together more, go ahead and add a pinch of sea salt, but otherwise it may not be necessary. We're going to garnish this dip with one teaspoon of roughly chopped toasted almonds. It's going to add a nice additional crunch. And then we're going to use just a pinch of either cayenne pepper or paprika for a nice pop of color. Now that you know how to make this beautiful, tasty, and nutritious dip for asparagus and broccoli, you're only one bite away from Radiant Health. I'm Siona San Martino. Thanks for joining me in the Bastyr Kitchen. I'll see you next time.